Now, after stopping side distance, we will be considering the second distance consideration that is overtaking side distance, also known as OSD. In OSD, there will be a vehicle which we will be considering as vehicle number A and it will be going after the vehicle number B. Now, if this vehicle A has to overtake this vehicle B, so it will have to follow the B, then it will have to take an acceleration leap, then it will be moving with some velocity, then it will taking back an acceleration, then it will be totally covering up the vehicle B and overtaking it. So the actual path of the vehicle was this. Now the vehicle is moving this one, this one, this one with an accelerated speed. So this is my vehicle A. Okay, now let me say if this A is moving after B, so this proper distance for which the vehicle A is deciding whether to overtake B or not is the distance D1. This distance D1 is generally denoted by D1 is equals to since A and B vehicle are moving back to back, so the velocity of vehicle which we will be taking is VB, the velocity of vehicle B cross the time interval which is taken in making the decisions. Generally this time interval comes up to be 2 seconds. Now the important part comes over here is the phase which is accelerated phase. Now this accelerated phase is divided into three parts. The first part from here to here where the vehicle is being accelerated with some speed and the second part here to here where vehicle is ex again accelerated with some speed. Now the rest of the time the vehicle moves with the velocity VB from here to here. Now from the time period D1 where vehicle, is vehicle A is deciding whether to overtake B or not, the vehicle B has already moved on to this position. And from the time where vehicle A is covering up whole up the distance D2, the vehicle B will be on this portion. Now to calculate D2, we are having two of the ways, whether we have to calculate this distance S, the distance will be same in the accelerated mode second S. Now this will be 2S. And the distance between the two B points, B1 and B2 will be VB cross T. The total time taken by the vehicle A to move from this point to this point taking the leap over is equal to the time taken by B from this point to this point. Now the D2 will be 2S plus VB into T velocity of vehicle B into time taken. Now calculation of 2S is not very critical since we know from the formula S is equals to ut plus half gt square where t is the time taken, g is the acceleration and half is the normal vector quantity. Now in this ut I consider the vehicle is at stationary position so I delete this part. Now from here the t comes out to be the time which comes out to be root of 2s sorry that comes out to be 4s upon a. Now for the calculation of space headway s this s is known as space headway I am giving you s is equals to 0.7 vb plus 6 this is in meter per second and in kilometer per hour it is s is equals to 0.2 vb plus 6 in kilometer per hour now there are two formulas to calculate s from s and t we will be calculating the 2s and vbt now our distance d2 is also calculated for third of the distance which will be vehicle A will be seeing some other vehicle C. Now from A we will be seeing the vehicle C which will be also moving a distance 
in the other direction. If it is a two lane two way, that OSD distance will be simple D, D1 and D2. But if it is a single lane two way, then C of the vehicle will be traveling from its position number one to position number two. C to position number two. This vehicle C from position number one to position number two will be calculating a distance of D3, which will be in the opposite direction. If any scenario, this vehicle A and C should not be crashing with each other. So this distance D3 is also needed to be calculated where D3 is equals to velocity of the highway into time period T, this time period capital T, which is from A taking from this leap to this leap, C will be taking from this leap to this leap. In no condition C and A should intersect each other or collide with each other. This will be the safe distance as overtaking side distance will be equal to D1 plus D2 plus D3. All of the D1 and D2, D3 are D1 is equals to VB into T that is 2 seconds, D2 is equals to 2S plus VBT and D3 is equals to V into T. This V is generally the design velocity of the highway. In whole of the calculations, overtaking side distance D1 plus D2 plus D3 is for one lane, two way and OSD will be equal to D1 plus D2 in two lane way now in whole of the calculations nowhere we calculated the vb so vb is equals to design velocity of the highway minus 4.5 in case of meter per second and vb is equals to design velocity of the highway v minus 16 kilometer per hour now after the theoretical calculation of the overtaking side distance we come up to the actual application of the overtaking side distance where we are going to take this overtaking side distance. Now for an instance I am designing a highway which is start point is the A and its end point is the B. Now in some cases this highway is going to be taken as the overtaking side distance. I will be go giving overtaking zones in this highway. In these zones, the vehicles are allowed to overtake one another in some particular fashion. Now if I am designing this highway, I will be providing this highway a straight leap from A to some point and then after some point I will be giving a space headway and then I will be giving a second zone of highway. Then again I will be giving us some wide distance, this also the high headway and then also the side distance. So, my actual highway designing from straight line will be going up to the curved ones and widening it up then giving up the second curve and widening it, shortening it down. Now this actual distance of overtaking is also known as overtaking zone and this overtaking zone is completely from 3 of calculated OSD to 5 times of calculated overtaking side distance. In some certain conditions we are not able to give the overtaking side distance then where the vehicle has a shortening or where we cannot widen the road that much so we will be taking the intermediate side distance in place of overtaking side distance. So we can say that ISD replaces OSD and for calculation of ISD intermediate side distance is just equal to two times of stopping side distance. Stopping side distance is already calculated in, in previous of the lecture. Please refer that one. Now if I am going to arrange in ascending order so the particular fashion of the side distance will be SSD will be lesser than the ISD will be lesser than the OSD. Where SSD is stopping side distance, ISD is intermediate, and OSD is overtaking. 